My name is Chris, and in this instructional video, I will be demonstrating how to create and manage user groups in the operating system Windows 2000 Advanced Server. To begin, we're going to go down and click on the start bar, go to settings, and open the control panel. Once the control panel is opened, we're going to go here to the administrative tools, and then we're going to click on the computer management to open up the computer management console. Once the console is open, I'm just going to extend this out, and then we're going to come over here under system tools to local users and groups and click on the plus sign, and then we're going to click on groups. This is going to show us a list of the groups that come pre-installed with Windows 2000 Advanced Server. To edit these, you can either double click on them, or you can right click and go to properties. Once in the properties menu, you can change the description, as well as add user accounts to this group. So we're going to go down here and add Chris, hit add and hit OK. And you'll notice that Chris has now been added to the administrators group and we'll hit OK. Now to create a new group, you right click and you select new group. You can type in the group name, we're just going to call it test group 1. You can give it a description which can be anything you want and then you can add members while you're creating the group simply by clicking add, selecting a member, adding them, and hitting OK. And then we hit create and close this and there's our test group. Now from here you can right click, you can add more people to the group, you can delete it, or you can rename it. Additionally, you can go back into the properties to change the description or add or remove users again. So we'll go ahead and delete it. And there it goes. Now, determining what privileges the users in each group have is a much more complicated procedure that requires a fair amount of technical expertise and knowledge base of the Windows 2000 Advanced Server operating system. My name is Chris, and you are watching my instructional video demonstrating how to create and manage user groups within the Windows 2000 Advanced Server Operating System. I hope you enjoyed it, and the information provided was useful.